Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here at Chicago WebConf again, and now I actually have the shirt so I can represent. Uh, I'm sitting here with Jonathan Baltz. Jonathan runs the Force.com and the uh, the Heroku user groups here in Chicago, and that's kind of an interesting combination of uh, groups: Force, Salesforce, and, and Heroku. One's very lean and yeah. light, and the other one is a little bit more enterprisey. And yep. and is it, what what why the two groups? Well, I started organizing the Force.com developer user group in Chicago um, in a, around, I believe it was April or May of 2010. And over the time, I you know it became one of the the largest or the most in, um, the most impactful user groups in the nation. And in I believe it was the middle of 2011, Salesforce actually purchased Heroku, mm -hmm. um, and I was actually asked to start one of the first Heroku user groups uh, here in Chicago because Salesforce knows the how big the community, uh, techn technology community is in Chicago, and they wanted to start building up a community um, and community user groups around America, and they wanted us to be the, one of the first. Okay. And... Uh so when you say the most impactful, like, uh, what is what is what do you do at a force.com meeting? It's it, like like with the enterprise groups, I'm not too familiar with those. Um, do you present on on product or or how to use the product or? Well, I guess I guess I might have used the word impact like involved. I guess so okay. the, by involved meaning um, we're continuously having meetings uh, every month, um, and I you know we continuously. Post things on, on Twitter and on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes um, a lot of the, <clears throat> a lot of the, you know, there are a lot of user groups, Salesforce user groups around, uh, but there weren't, aren't that many developer user groups who go in depth into the plat the Force.com platform mm -hmm. rather than the administrators and how to use it and right. how to admin, you know, administrate, administ do the administration stuff. So, um, and we also have a lot of developer evangelists come talk mm -hmm. or you know do a Google Hangouts with us. So it's a continuously involved and in, in, mm -hmm. in by involved you know and then so through the involvement we sort of make an impact and people like look at us as a, a pattern. Okay, and so like other user groups in other cities are looking at what you're doing yeah. and saying, oh, how can we we can replicate some of what they're doing in mm -hmm. Chicago? That's a really interesting position to be in. The uh, the the two different groups, I have to imagine, you get a different audience between Heroku and and Salesforce. Yes. Do you um, get the same people in both, or is it totally different? Well, sometimes you you do get a few people who are, do go to both both meetings, <laughs> and these are the people who, you know, it's Force.com, it's it's Heroku, which is a polyglot platform, um, meaning you can use you know different languages on right. it, um, and they're not interested in sort of you know, only learning what they want to learn. Yeah. They want to learn everything. They want to learn technology. They want to learn how, to, you know, maybe the way that certain people use use some, you know, Java on Heroku, maybe that can, you know, I can use that, that idea, that concept in my force.com development. And yeah. so, so those are the people who go to both, but, you know, between the two of them, it, you know, with the force.com user group, you find uh, some administrators who want to learn more about development. Um, to hardcore invested uh, other statesmen, if you may, uh, Salesforce developers who you know want to either present or hear other people present on the platform. Whereas Heroku, you get a wide variety. Um, it supports Python, Java, Ruby, Node, yeah. Scala. Um, and then that's just the official build pack. Yes, exactly. And so you get a wide variety of people who just, you know, depending on the topic that's going to be presented, uh, they will either come or not come. Okay, and um, with the so, would you say that the the force dot com group is a little bit more pragmatic? What can I do to make my life a little bit better? Whereas maybe the Heroku group seems to be a little bit more. Hey, let's this is neat. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. yes, one hundred percent. Okay, and um, you know, I, I have to say, I've, I've had to touch some Salesforce, and I, I didn't have nice things to say about it. It was, <laughs> and that's not an indictment yeah. of this. Do you get people coming to the group, um, and, and some of that is probably just not knowing the platform mm -hmm. well enough. But do you get some people that come to the meeting and have maybe a chip on their shoulder about Salesforce? Because those, I, I sometimes I, feel, I have mixed feelings about enterprise software. They they're trying to do something good, trying to create something, but 
sometimes people get frustrated and we might take our frustrations out on a corporate vendor a little bit harsher than we would an open source vendor. So they get oh. a little bit more of yeah. the venom. Yeah. Do you, do you get ever get... Uh, sometimes, I mean, you, you don't get that many. I mean, a lot of times people don't go to the user group if they don't want to know about the, the topic. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of the people that do come are using it or are interested in using it um, or have, you know, like you mentioned, have used it and but want to know more about it. Um, those people that, that do have the you know, that, that venomous feeling, they just need to, I mean, a lot of times that when that happens, it's someone will talk to them and then show them the right way to do it um, or suggest that you go to the, user, or the discussion boards on uh, developerforce.com and ask questions about it because there, it's a wide variety on the discussion board or a wide variety, a variety of people on the, the, the discussion boards who are willing to help everyone mm -hmm. and uh, that it, that will actually probably give them the answer and then you know the whole idea is like don't get frustrated just ask someone yeah and then you you know you might it might make it better right and and also I mean along the lines of receiving the venom the uh, sympathy for the developers I I, I know some uh, Salesforce developers and um, those those poor poor souls with with because they have to take on all the responsibility because a lot of other people are, aren't as either as well uh, either lack of interest mm -hmm. or or just um, just don't know it as well tend to try to push as much responsibility on them as possible. Uh, is, there, is there some uh, sense of relief maybe coming into a force.com group? It's like, ah, we're, we're the blood brothers. We've, we've done battle together. Is, is, is there uh, maybe a little bit more um, identification with, uh, with uh, force.com developers? There is in, I mean, there is somewhat, uh, but it, that's not what we're looking for. I mean, it's not really, a closed knit group of like okay now you know of, of like I don't know I don't know but soldiers or policemen or firemen or people who have mm -hmm. you've been in you know you've been in things together you you you, you like you you have this camaraderie this mm -hmm. this you know sympathy or empathy um, it's actually just like I want to learn more I want to see how things are you know who it's I, a positive yeah answer. and then you know we mentioned that uh, regarding you know that people would just push. Um, tasks or issues onto the Salesforce developers and the reason is because not many people do have this knowledge and yeah. and that's really part of the reason that I took over the user or I started the user group in Chicago and my one of my main focuses is like this platform is completely wide open if you want to learn it you don't have to pay a cent right. at all um, you get a free developer um, environment all the documentation is free, and if you have questions, come to a user group. We'll help you, and yeah. we'll provide you know information or help or, or or direction. And it's hard to get that message out, and it's hard to find people who are interested or mm -hmm. want to know more. Um, most of the people are recruiters who just want to hire someone, and it's like you, you need to grow people before you can actually put them out towards the world. Okay. Is there any plans for a force-oriented um, conference or anything in Chicago? Um, upcoming, uh, uh, right now the plan is, is uh, it, in the works for a um, a sort of a developer, a small developer, you know, evening conference uh, in the twenty fourth of October. Okay. Um, um, no location is set yet, but it's coming up. Um, one of my main ideas in the, for two thousand thirteen is to either have a force dot com um, cloud. Uh, you know, webcam day mm -hmm. like 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 this conference here today, or say cloud computing web conference where you bring in Azure, you bring in AWS, you bring in Force.com, yeah. Heroku, and developers that work on that platform together for a day just talk and compare notes and compare platforms and and get that together and, and sort of build up the the user group and the community within Chicago. Okay, and you know right before we wrap up here. The, you're going to be doing a lightning talk on user community. You had some, yeah. you had some thoughts about that. Uh, what was, what was the topic of the, 
uh, lightning talk. It's uh, it's called community, not dictatorship. Oh, okay, it's community, not dictatorship. Yeah. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, <clears throat> a lot of people go to user groups. A lot of people enjoy going to user groups, and they look at the people who host them or organize them or set the meetings up on either Eventbrite or Meetup mm -hmm. and they look at them for, okay, tell me where to go, tell me what to do, um, who am I going to see and it's like the, they're organizers, they're not leaders, Right. it's a community. The organizers are there to organize and to say, hey group, this is where we're going. I've talked to this person, I've gotten this location, right. I, on this day we're going to go there. Uh, it's not saying, hey, I, did, I found this place, I found this spe speaker, it's going to be on this day. You know, they're not dictators. You know, if you want to hear a topic, yeah. if you have a good idea of a speaker that you want, I want to hear, if you have a, a place that's a host, let, let us know. Yeah. Let the organizers yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's not, <clears throat> it's a very subtle difference between I got us a, a meeting place on this day versus we're going to be meeting at that place on this yes, day. Yes, correct. There's, there's a... Subtle but big difference. It's that I went through the effort to get this. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope it's nice and I hope you yeah. enjoy. <laughs> you know, versus if you don't like it, just you know. You don't have to come. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And another yeah. thing is that, like, if you are interested, if that sounds like a great meeting to you, put it on Twitter, put it on your blog, put it on your website. Because as of right now, I mean, we, you know, the way that Meetup works, you can only email members of the group. Mm -hmm. And if people don't know about the group or not signed up, they're not going to know about the meetings. And it's that networking, it's that marketing, that message to, to be sent out that it, you know, in order for these user groups to be to thrive and to grow and to build, we need that work. We need that you know extra step for each from each member to push the message out. And every link back helps. Every, yes, correct. Every, you know, and it's not just Twitter. If you can blog about it, if mm -hmm. you can even put it on a Facebook, or, or even set up a Facebook fan page for this your Facebook. user group. Well, I'm getting up. Not, what, is, what is this Facebook? You? Uh, <laughs> no, but, kidding, but yeah. no, you set up the fan page because every place you can help disseminate the information. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much well, for taking the time. Thank you.